Hey YouTube, it's Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today I'm going to show you how to set up racks to hold 40 breeders. The Petco dollar a gallon sale is coming up here in no time. That's what I, I buy these 40 breeders and uh, this rack from Lowe's works amazing. It fits them perfectly and uh, for 80 bucks you get a, you can actually get two racks because uh, they can link together up on top of each other or you can keep them uh, separate and so that's what you get here. You know, we've got two, two uh, setups here, and we're going to show you how to put one together, show you how easy it is and how well it fits, and uh, we're going to leave a link down below uh, to the actual shelf that works amazing, and uh, the hardest part about this build is going to be convincing the people you live with that you need two to four more 40-gallon breeders, but uh, that being said, build super easy. All right, so I've got all the parts laid out for you. Uh, you get two, well, you actually get four in the kit, uh, but everything I'm going to be referring to is to put one dual stand together. So everything I'm saying, there's going to be twice as much of it. Uh, but to put one stand together, we've got two particle boards. Not ideal by any means, but the good thing is they're not really going to do anything either because the aquarium is such a perfect fit. It actually rests on all the metal rails, and so... The particle board really is just to make sure that your stand is true, so that it's not, uh, you know, pinched at one end or you know, slid a little bit. This keeps it so when you're putting the aquarium on it, it's perfectly uh, all the, the rails are aligned. So it doesn't offer any structural support anyway. But uh, so don't worry about it. You could upgrade with marine grade plywood, something like that. But if you're going to go through the trouble of cutting wood and stuff like that, you may as well build your own stand. This is literally run to Lowe's grab it, come back, and you'll be done setting it up in 20 minutes. So that's what this tutorial is here. Uh, you get four, or you're going to need four of the rails. They come with these. These are just the, the side rails that go on the, the front and back, um, or the, the right and left hand side. And then you've got four posts. And these are 36 inches tall. So you know, your tank is gonna, your top tank is gonna be sitting at 36 inches. Uh, the bottom one you can get as low as you want, uh, but keep in mind you're gonna want to leave yourself some room to catch fish out and stuff like that from the bottom one as well as the top one. Uh, so we typically put it almost as low as we can with a little bit of room underneath just so that we can get under there in case we were to spill water or something like that. Um, but yeah, so this stand is literally gonna be 36 inches by 18 inches. And with the metal wrapped around it, you might be looking at 36 and three quarters, maybe 37, and uh, you know, 18 and a half to 18 and three quarters front to back. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make two uh, of our end caps. And so what I did here is we've gone up four little slots here. Uh, basically, they have little inlets to put these eyelets in. So we go one, two, three, four and one two three four we're going to repeat that on the other side these you can tap in with a rubber mallet but they slide in pretty easy uh, so I don't consider it a requirement if you don't own one you know find something use your foot something like that so we're gonna build another one of these and then we're gonna put uh, the cross member on the back here across you can see here that we now got one of the braces running along the back installed you just pop it right into the little eyelets you can see there. We're going to do that on the front here as well. I'll show you just how easy this is here. You just line it up. And we're going to line it up on this end. And slide it in. And I've actually, here's what you want to watch out for. Right on the bottom there. You can see it right here. I've missed one of the eyelets. So we need to take that back up and put it in. I set the camera down so we can show that here. So just like that, both eyelets are now in, and that's what we want. Push it down, and we push it down. Next, we're going to install. Uh, one of the pieces of particle board and that will make sure that everything is perpendicular and stuff like that because right now I can as you can see I can move this stand so now 
you know, if we didn't have that, it could, what's called racking, uh, it could be trapezoidal shaped and that wouldn't hold the tank at all. As you can see here, you know, we're way off. So we're going to put that wood in there and that's going to help keep us, help, help keep us true. All right, we now have the deck in. It's in there nice and nice and sturdy there. I guess I should mention, you know, the first thing you're going to ask is, well, how much weight can these racks hold? And each shelf can hold a thousand pounds. And 40 gallon tank, let's say we round it off to 10 gallons per uh, per gallon there, 400 pounds. So less than half of uh, of the weight that's going to need to to use. So. Next we're going to put an aquarium on and the thing to know about that is that the dimensions are so tight here that you actually have to drop the aquarium in from the top. It will not slide between these two. Now this next part of putting the aquarium actually in the stand, uh, I would definitely recommend having someone to help you. Right now uh, I'm home alone. Want to, want to shoot this video, so I'm going to do it myself. I've done it before, but you can easily hurt your back. Uh, the other thing to know is this aquarium is going to be relatively heavy when we put it on there, and so it's kind of better to have it in its final resting place. Uh, but I'm going to put this bottom aquarium in, and then I'm going to put it where I want it to go, and uh, just because logistics of where it is in this room with the other tanks. Uh, I can't stand on the side of it and I won't have any wiggle room, so we're just going to go ahead and do that right now. So we've lowered that into place, and you can see here, the reason you have to do that is because this sits right in there. Like this could not, it's like this was built to hold these tanks. You know, we're talking, you know, there's, there's no room there. This one's got a little room, it'll be fixed once we put the next layer on. But yeah, so. We now have one 40 gallon breeder installed. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it back to where I want it to be. Uh, and then I'm going to install the second tier. And you can check that out. Alright, now we're going to install the cross member here on the side panel. And the reason we didn't do that beforehand is you can't slide the tanks past this. So we want to install that afterwards, which we're doing right now. And we're just going to line it up. We're going to use the top two posts here. And the top two over here. And just like that, we're locked in on that piece. We're then going to do the, the back section here. sure that all the, the rivets are going into uh, the little slots like they're made to do. And we're going to do the other side real quick here. And without a rubber mallet, you're going to notice a little bit of settling in the metal uh, when you go to fill these tanks up because it's going to put it down into place a little bit more. Alright, that's in. We're going to install the front brace. So here you're watching real time how long this takes, which is not very long at all. Like I said, 20 minutes. You could have it all set and done. And we we'll pull that. We're in there. And we're in there. Alright, so top rim is done. Now we've got to put, uh, you technically don't have to, but uh, I always do, put the particle board in there. This is actually one of the harder parts of the entire thing because you got to do a little, it's a real tight fit, you got to do a little bit of pinching to 
get it in there. And this is this is honestly where I always pinch myself. I always pinch my hands getting this in there. And uh, ideally, you wouldn't have it right next to a wall, because that makes so I have no leverage here. But uh, there we go. Just like that, we're in. Uh, I'm gonna run to my garage and grab another Petco 40 breeder, and we're gonna throw it on top and give you an overall look. So if you stuck around to the end here, you're probably wondering why would I be setting up two 40 gallon tanks? I own a fish store, I've got unlimited tanks, and uh, the reality is these are to do more projects for YouTube. Uh, the top tank, gonna do a low light planet tank, I've had some requests for that. Uh, down below, I've kind of gotten a Pontegeaton plant project I want to work on. I think people are going to uh, be amazed at what you can get for very little money and very low tech in uh, a tank like that. So if there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know and I'll do what I can to make it happen. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to show you guys what you want to see and uh, as time allows, I'll put the projects together. Um, you know, low light planet tank requested a couple of weeks ago, uh, and hopefully, next few weeks, we'll get it produced. So, uh, thanks for watching today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please leave any feedback or questions down below. For any items featured in the video today, check out aquariumcoop.com.